Listen, I know it's hard to accept that we have little mites that live inside the pores of our face and eat all the dead skin cells and oil that we produce, but they're beneficial at the end of the day and we don't need to get rid of them. These though are the parasites you do not want to find in your skin that I diagnosed as a dermatologist here in the US. And the last one is diagnosed over 500 million times worldwide each year. Can you see that little zigzaggy rash there? That's actually the tract of a little larva that burrows into your skin and produces that rash. It's called cutaneous larva migraines, or also known as creeping eruption. What happens is you step on soil or sand that's contaminated with dog or cat feces that's infected with a hookworm. And those hookworms produce the larva, they get into the sand, you step on them, they burrow into the skin and then create this rash. It's quite itchy, but will resolve on its own. Next is cutaneous myiasis. I've seen this most often in people who come back from vacation in Belize. What happens is there's flies there that lay eggs on your skin or clothing, and those eggs hatch, and the larvae burrow into the skin and then start growing. So it starts like a little pimple commonly in the scalp, and then it keeps growing and growing and growing until it eventually emerges. The way you get them out though, you can extract them surgically, but what they do there is you put raw bacon on the skin, the little larva attaches to that, and then you just pull it out. It's gross. And the last parasitic infection, the one that you should care about the most here in the United States and worldwide is scabies. Scabies is a little mite that burrows into the skin. So not in the pores like Demodex, but actually under the skin in the stratum corneum. And it's intensely itchy. Most people who are infected have about 10 to 20 mites on their skin, but they are itchy all over their body. We commonly find it in between the finger web spaces and then the groin. It's spread by human to human contact in the worst cases, called Norwegian scabies, we see in nursing homes and prisons. For most patients, the itch gets progressively worse over time and peaks every night when you first get into bed. 